Good afternoon guys, my name is Julian from Profit Audio and in today's tutorial we're going to be showing you how to recreate the soundtrack for a scene within space. I'm going to be giving this perspective, this first person perspective, as if we were an astronaut floating through space into you know, the dark emptiness. We're going to be creating three layers using Serum and I'm going to be using Granulator to recreate the astronaut breathing from scratch using a random sample. So um, let's do it. So guys, this is going to be the final product. As you can hear, it's pretty dark, but I really like how ambient it actually is. So I'm going to be showing you how to make those three layers right now. So. Let's start up with a MIDI track. I'm going to be remaking uh, the high end. We're just going to be using a noise. The noise is just random noises that come with Serum. By just using the first one, we're going to kind of pitch it down and add some reverb. We're also going to put an EQ and just cut off the lows. All right, this is gonna be good enough. We can take this MIDI clip, just have it have it going. We can rename this high end. Next up, let's make the low end. For the low end, it's gonna be a little bit more complicated. Um, let's get another instance of Serum here. All right, so for this one, we're gonna be using two different waves. Ooh, yeah, ooh. <laughs> uh, and another one that we're just gonna take a sine wave. All right, so we've got up both our waves here. Let's hear how it sounds. As you can hear, it's not really nice. We still need to do quite a few things to it. Um, we're gonna actually turn the voice up of these things. And we already get some sort of like an alien -y sound here but we're gonna try and keep it darker we're gonna be cutting all the high end of this sound and removing all the lows from here all right we're gonna add some distortion and try and really to try and really make um the harmonics of this sound come to life. We're gonna also be putting a phaser and a flanger. Next up, we're gonna cut off even more of, of those high frequencies. Okay, perfect. Now the sound is sounding all right, but we're gonna give it more movement. Basically, we're gonna be doing this by putting an LFO over those CRS values, which is basically the, the pitch value of both those oscillators. Um, we're gonna be modulating them using this LFO, but we're also gonna be modulating the wave using this same LFO. So we're gonna set this down and kind of try create movement, but it like subtly, a subtle movement. All right. Just then by doing that, we added so much more movement to this bass layer. Let's see how it sounds with the first one we made. Perfect. This is already got sounding really nice. Um, now let's try and make this astronaut breathing Okay, so for the last step of this tutorial, I put a granulator here and I'm going to put a random sample from my library, such as a rain sample. 
Um, let's just drop that in. All right, let's see. Uh, I have also put a delay channel onto this just to get it echoing a little bit. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to use an LFO set on forward. This way we're going to get a nice clean cycle that kind of sounds like breathing. Um, we're going to set this to something quite big, maybe 40, 44 maybe. Um, we're going to set the grain as well to something quite high. For, uh, we don't need to pray the starting position here. We can set it early. This is going to allow the noise to be uh, less drastic. Uh, it's like almost cutting away those transients. Let's set this around here. I'm going to put some LFO on these ones because this is the only way it's actually going to get applied to the grain and the starting position. Let's see how it sounds. All right, we're getting there. Now, very important, the EQ. Um, we're going to try and cut all those frequencies away. Maybe put a compressor and put a reverb with a long decay. Can you hear that? All right, we now have our breathing. Um, let's hear it together. That's it guys, thank you for watching Profit Audio. I'll catch you in the next episode. I'll be doing more crazy things and more themes and more sounds from scratch. So uh, thank you and catch you soon, bye.